It's horrible when a ship experiences trouble at any point in its life, but if things go wrong the moment it launches, that's some serious bad luck. You at least want to get a whole day out of the ship, but no, that's not what happened for these boats. These are ship launches that went horribly wrong. Number 15. Cruise Liner Collides With Bridge Being at the wheel of a brand new vehicle is both exciting and nerve-wracking at the same time. You don't want to put a single scratch on it and every move you make is calculated and gentle. So you can imagine the horror the captain of Pearl Number 7 experienced when he damaged the brand new luxury cruise ship. The holiday cruise ship was being navigated through Wenzhou in the East China province of Zhejiang province when the accident happened. It crashed into a bridge and damaged two of the ship's chimneys while grazing the bridge. Fortunately, no one was injured and the traffic flow on the bridge also carried on as per usual. According to reports, the 158 meter long, seven story high ship was sailing down the Weijiang River which flows underneath the bridge it hit. Authorities couldn't say right away what happened, but witnesses said the bridge's main structure swayed when the ship hit it. The bridge owner's company, Wenzhou Round City Expressway Co. Limited, said that the Maritime Safety Department for the city would be investigating what happened. We can only imagine that the captain was shaking in his boots, to say the least. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. This image is an artist's recreation of what might just be one of the worst ship launches we've ever heard of. The ship launch took place in Spain. Things were looking good at first, but then suddenly disaster struck. A huge storm came in from nowhere, tossing the ship aside. More than 50 people lost their lives in this terrible, terrible accident. The worst thing is, the captain had been told a storm was on the horizon. He just ignored the warnings. Could it have gone worse? We really don't think so. As always, comment down below with the hashtag oddtopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 14. Ship Launch of Cement Carrier to be fair, we wouldn't say this ship launch went horribly wrong, but I think it is fair to say that some of the spectators weren't expecting what actually happened. Cement carrier Norden was officially launched at the Royal Bodovese shipyard in Hugajan, the Netherlands in 2019. Engineers and other employees worked in a calculated fashion to remove the legs holding the ship in place, then gently slide it sideways into the water. When you look at the size of the ship compared to the body of water in which it's gonna sit, you can imagine just how much it's gonna affect the water. And it does. A torrent of water runs up the bank and over the road before landing in what looks to be a drainage ditch. To be honest, that ditch was probably set up for that very reason. But people watching the ship launch on the grass nearby had to act fast and get out of the way, especially those who were carrying expensive camera equipment. You can't see any cars traveling down the road in the footage, so it might have been closed while the launch took place to stop them from being flooded and floating away. Number 13. Symphony Provider Stuck on Slipway if you live near a shipbuilding company, you probably love popping down to the yard when the time comes to launch a new ship. After seeing a few, you likely know what a successful launch looks like. If you were at the launch of the Symphony Provider, you might also come to learn what an unsuccessful one looks like as well. The Symphony Provider was being launched at the Ferris Smith Shipyard in Lier, Germany when things didn't go quite to plan. I mean, they didn't go horribly wrong, but they definitely didn't go right. As engineers released all the posts, pins, and bits and pieces holding the ship in place, the ship started sliding into the water, but then it stopped. The bow of the vessel stuck fast on the slipway while the stern begins to move away. That could be a recipe for disaster. Fortunately, after a few minutes of what was probably a lot of panic, the hydraulic pins were able to be released manually so that the ship could continue making its grand entrance into the water. 
Number 12. Ship Accident During Launching Launching a ship is probably quite nerve-wracking for the people responsible for building it. They want everything to go perfectly, but they only have so much control over the whole process. It can be even more nerve-wracking when the ship you're launching is for the U.S. Coast Guard and a milestone is being celebrated. In the late 1990s, the U.S. Coast Guard's first new icebreaker was being launched in 20 years. That is two decades since the last U.S. Coast Guard ship just like it launched, so you can imagine it was a pretty pretty big deal. Heaps of people turned up for the occasion with flags waving and music playing. Hey, no pressure guys, but this has to go off without a hitch. Except it didn't. The ship glided off the slipway into the water with an almighty splash. That's what it's supposed to do, right? Well, except the wave was perhaps slightly larger than most people anticipated, and it ended up soaking spectators on the platform, including those holding expensive cameras. As it turns out, 20 people also got injured. Number 11. Marinette Dock Ship Launch Goes Wrong even though the facts around this ship launch are a little sketchy, there is no denying that things didn't quite go to plan. In 2013, video footage was uploaded to YouTube by Jason Bundoff that showed a ship tumbling sideways into the water. Things looked normal enough, but that was until the massive wave headed towards the camera with giant pieces of wood traveling with it. These appeared to hit the camera and possibly even the person holding that camera. According to someone who claims to be the YouTube uploader's friend, the people shooting the footage escaped with scratches and bruises. However, someone apparently did break their leg, so you would definitely not call it a successful launch. The footage was supposedly taken at the Marinette shipyard in Wisconsin, but the date is not known. People have their opinions about what happened, but the general consensus is that the sliders that guide the ship into the water didn't extend as far as they should. This may have caused them to break off when the ship tipped, with the wave's momentum sending them back to shore. Number 10. Panama Canal Ship Accident I don't know about you, but I have trouble navigating my car into a narrow parking space at the best of times. So, can you imagine being the captain of a ship trying to squeeze a mammoth beast through a tiny gap? This accident sucks for the workers, but you can definitely see how it happened. A large container carrier was being guided through a water lock in the Panama Canal with the help of mules, which are tow trains. These mules run on rack tracks with toothed rails, and they are present on both sides of the Panama Canal, with two on each side for the bow and stern. The carrier didn't quite get the angle right, and it slowly started veering towards one of the two mules, steering it. Before you know it, the carrier has made contact, crushing the left side of the mule and coming dangerously close to the mule in the front. All you can see are people running and people looking overboard on the ship. Fortunately, no one was injured in the collision. It could have been a lot worse. The ship didn't appear to be damaged, but the mule certainly was. Number 9. Cargo Ship Crashes Into Bridge most of us know better than to drink and drive, but do those same rules apply when you're at the helm of a massive cargo ship? I'm sure they do, because this is what can happen. A Russian cargo ship with a drunk captain crashed into a highway bridge in South Korea near the port of Busan. It happened during afternoon rush hour traffic, and the bridge is a major thoroughfare. The vessel was damaged in the collision, but the bridge even more so. A massive hole was torn in the steel structure of the bridge. Now, in most situations, the captain would stop the ship and wait for authorities to come to their aid, but this captain didn't. Probably knowing he was in trouble for being drunk, he fled the scene. Yeah, this was a cargo ship hit and run. Fortunately, the 370-foot ship called Sea Grand was detained by the Korean Coast Guard and they worked out what happened. The vessel was headed for its home port, which is Vladivostok in Russia, carrying almost 3 million pounds of steel coils. It should have sailed north along the coast to navigate across the Sea of Japan's eastern edge, but it didn't. Instead, it headed for a small bay and straight into the double-deck Guangan Bridge. Number 8 
ferry crashes into Santo Domingo port. In 2017, a ferry called Kaiden crashed into a Santo Domingo port pier in the Dominican Republic Caribbean after arriving from San Juan in Puerto Rico. Fortunately, the ferry had no underwater breaches and only looked to have damage to the ramp area. However, the same couldn't be said for the port. The ferry had broken one of the moorings that was tied to the pier's docks, causing the impact. Some of the containers at the port were damaged, and this resulted in perimeter gate infrastructure damage. Port authorities said that the situation was under control and that port operations carried on as per usual. There were also no reports of injuries, which is good news for both ferry passengers and port workers. Even though damage to the ferry was minimal, it was out of action for at least two weeks while the ramp was repaired and the ferry was inspected and deemed fit for operation. The entire collision was caught on video and it looked far more dramatic than it ended up being. The ferry's ramp scrapes along the edges of the port before the ferry collides with containers. These buckled and bent under the ferry's haft. Number 7. Ship crashes into million dollar waterfront mansion. If you're gonna crash your ship into anything, the last thing you want it to be is a million dollar waterfront mansion. But for one captain, that was the reality. How tragic. The Maltese flagged bulk carrier vessel, Vita Spirit, crashed into a historic mansion located on the Bosporus Strait in Istanbul. A Turkish news agency reported that the cargo ship had malfunctioned. This caused the rudder to become disabled, which resulted in the captain losing control of the ship in what happened to be quite a busy waterway. Even though no injuries were reported or even any environmental threats, the damage to the mansion was astronomical. It was built in the 18th century and was often used to host concerts and weddings. Guests and staff in a nearby restaurant had a run for cover, and it must have been quite a sight to see a giant vessel floating within almost arm's reach of where you serve your guests. Fortunately, they too were okay. To say the owners of the mansion were devastated is an understatement. They demanded prosecution against those in charge of maritime traffic. While an investigation was underway, the vessel was moored in the Marmara Sea. Number 6. Ferry Sinks in Indonesia in 2015, the unimaginable happened. A passenger ferry sank in Lamang Bay, Indonesia. The ferry, KM Wahan Sejatera, capsized when it began getting water ingress 200 meters from Surabaya Island's terminal Lamang Bay. Officials said that the ferry started taking on water and they decided to return to the terminal. But the water entered it so quickly that the starboard sank on the way back. Several rescue boats were dispatched, and a search and rescue operation quickly got underway. Fortunately, over 100 passengers were rescued from the water, and 16 of them were transported to a hospital with life-threatening injuries. The Terminal Lamang Bay Head of Public Relations, Rika Yusmara, said the ship had tilted back and partially sunk. They were also afraid that there might have been people still inside the wreck. Fortunately, that wasn't the case, and no injuries or casualties were reported. That is definitely good news when you see the poor state of the ferry. It was sinking quickly, even though the water was pouring out the side. You could also see people jumping into the water in what looked like a Titanic-style move. I didn't see any violins, though. Number 5. Ship Launch Wave Fail when the impressive Wagenborg ship was launched for the first time, people visited from far and wide to see it for themselves. But they gathered somewhere that may not have been the brightest, right next to the water. While the area is grassy and does look like an ideal observation area, it really isn't. As soon as the massive ship was launched into the water, it created a huge tidal wave of water that cascaded over the grass. Fortunately, many people started to realize what was about to happen and moved back. Others weren't so quick off the mark. One guy even got so caught up in the commotion that he ended up falling over into the water. I can imagine that a few expensive cameras and phones were damaged that day. Launches are always a bit of a public spectacle, but you do have to be careful. If shipyards are near a channel, they're built parallel to the shore so that they can be launched sideways. 
This was the case for Wagenborg, but it just means that as they are slid sideways into the water, the resultant splash is always a lot bigger than you possibly expect it to be. Number 4. Ship Falls the Wrong Way I must admit, working on a boat or ship sounds like a lot of fun. You get to travel to new countries, and it's not exactly slumming it if you end up on a cruise ship. But imagine being responsible for launching those boats. So much can go wrong. Everything that could go wrong did go wrong when this ship was launched at a dock. The whole thing was captured on video and uploaded to YouTube in 2019. A beautifully painted ship was getting ready to be launched into the water sideways. But instead of it being launched into the water, it somehow ended up being launched into the, well, concrete. It fell the wrong way and slammed down onto the ground. We can only imagine just how much damage was done to the outside, but can you imagine all the items inside the ship? I'd hate to walk into the kitchen after tipping a ship on its side. A few men are watching the whole launch taking place. As soon as they see it going the wrong way, they start to run away. I wonder who's going to take the blame for that. Number 3. NYC Ferry Crash the MV Andrew J. Barberi has a bit of a reputation, so much so that if you learn it's the ferry you'll be traveling on, you'll probably try and arrange an alternative form of transport. It is one of two Barberi-class ferries that operates between Manhattan and Staten Island. It has a capacity of 6,000 passengers, which makes it one of the highest capacity boats in the fleet. These are definitely noteworthy points, but there is more to this ferry than meets the eye. In 2003, the ferry failed to slow down when it was packed with commuters and making its way into Manhattan. As a result, it slammed sideways into the pier. 11 people were killed in this crash, which is undoubtedly 11 too many. The later report stated that the assistant pilot had unexplained sudden incapacitation and that the master had failed to command and control the vessel. The ferry was rebuilt and put back in a regular service by 2004, only for it to be involved in another incident in 2010. In this crash, which may have involved the propulsion units, 37 people were injured. Number 2. MSC Armonia Cruise Ship Hits Honduras Dock I can only imagine just how hard it would be to dock a massive cruise ship with precision. Sometimes, for whatever reason, it doesn't go to plan. That was certainly the case with a huge cruise ship in Honduras. The MSC Armonia was trying to dock at the port of Isla Roatan in Honduras at around 9 a.m. in April 2018 when it hit the end of the pier. It caused it to crumple before the cruise ship eventually came to a stop. Hearing the noise, people immediately came out to see what was going on. It was also caught on camera for all to see. Fortunately, no one was injured either on the shore or on the cruise ship. According to MSC Cruise Lines, there was never a risk for crew or guests on board and no impact on the environment. After an assessment, the damage to the ship was deemed minor. Some repairs took place before Honduran Port State Control authorities cleared it to leave at about 2 a.m. the next day to continue to believe on schedule. Number 1. Rope Snaps During Launch The launch of the brand new ship called Scott Explorer was quite an exciting occasion. It had been under construction for months and was sporting a fresh, bright paint scheme before it was due to be launched from the Royal Bodeves shipyard in Hogazan, the Netherlands in 2019. All seemed to be going well, but that was until the line at the ship's stern snaps. The hull proceeds to collide with the quay wall made out of concrete. Oof, there goes the ship's brand new paint job. The quay wall also took on a bit of damage. You could see chunks of concrete sitting on top of the quay wall where it had broken away and a long scratch down the side of the boat, which fortunately just looked superficial. Still, that's a bit of a buzzkill for what should have been a monumental occasion. The Scott Explorer was ordered by Scott Line Marine Holding Limited, with construction starting in February 2019. It was launched in October and was expected to be delivered shortly after. But going from that launch, we'd say there might have been a slight delay. 
I don't envy these people who had to deal with the aftermath of such botched attempts at launching a ship or simply operating one. Have you ever been to a ship launch before? Did it all go to plan? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!